Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a scatterplot matrix using SPSS, similar like the diagram shown here. The data that I'll be using looks like this, it's just some example data based on four genres. People could uh, rank on a scale, or not rank, uh, actually grade on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I'll be using SPSS 26, but I'm pretty sure this also works for some earlier versions, especially because in this video I'll show you how you can do this using the legacy dialogues. Click on Grass and then go for legacy dialogues, and in there select the scatter dot option. Now the one we want is the matrix scatter, so click on that one, and then click on define. I'll reset and select all the variables that you want to see so you can do that by using control and or shift or put them in one by one and but move them to the matrix of variables we can then simply click on ok and we should already get a nice default there we can now double click on this to open the so-called chart editor in here we can add a few more things for example a reference line at y equals x might be useful to see which one scored higher on one uh, versus the other so if i click on this one it actually adds it but it uses some kind of formula and i simply want y equals x click on apply and as you might actually notice not all lines are going the same way and that's because of the scales are different for each of these uh, diagram scatter plots so click on one of the labels and actually all of them are now highlighted and either press ctrl T or go for edit properties or if you like there's a shortcut here which is also the properties window in there click the matrix axis scale uncheck these and make sure you know the overall lowest values in my case that was 1 and that maximum was indeed 10 so I can leave it at that and click on apply then I'll do the same for the horizontal axis, so again I click on that first, so all of them are now selected. I uncheck these, and I know for sure that the lowest was 1 and the highest was uh, 10. I can then click on apply, and now as you might notice all the lines are nicely diagonal going up. Um, what we can see from here is actually, for example, if we look at this one, that almost all the dots are below so that actually means that the comedy scored higher than the horror and uh, for only one person the horror was higher than the comedy if it would be on this line the two would be exactly the same so for example this person here scored the same for thriller and adventure now on the diagonal there's nothing if you do want to see for example the distribution of thriller itself what you can do is then go for options and click on show charts in the diagonal and the only chart you can choose from is the histogram or the normal curve i'll usually leave it at the histogram uh, i can close this and now i have a nice little histogram showing the adventure uh, results the comedy the horror and the thriller I can now actually close this and the one thing i've not managed to do is actually get a scale in <coughs> sorry about that showing the actual value so 0 to 10 or something and here also 0 to 10 so if you know a way of doing that in SPSS let me know because uh, in the comments because I would be very interested in that so this is how you can create a scatterplot matrix using SPSS